Calvary Chronicles Day 5. I hope you can hear me. I'm at Wintrust Arena, the celebration stage, and the episode one goodness is about to begin. I have a feeling there's going to be a menace of the phantom variety in this place as we sit here and wait in the celebration stage. Uh, it's past the time they are playing the hit songs of 1999. That's friggin' dedication, baby. All right, well, look who I bumped into. Uh, fresh out of uh, watching the episode one panel, we got Andy Higgins and we got little Oliver Grievous himself, the general of the Separatist Army. You, sir, look frightening. I do not want to mess with you. Okay, tell me, how are the Clone Wars going for you right now? Have you won any significant battles lately? And if so, which battles? Grievous to me. <laughs> Who did we read a book about yesterday? It's that Grievous to me. Ahsoka, remember? What would you do, Grievous, if you saw Obi-Wan Kenobi standing right over there? What would you say to him? <laughs> that would scare me. I think I think it would work on him, because that would definitely scare me. And you are the proud dad of General Grievous, correct, sir? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so are you guys having fun at Celebration so far? I think we've had a blast, yeah, absolutely. What would you, I know it's hard to pick, uh, so this is a mean question, forgive me, but what was your favorite thing that you've seen so far? during this crazy event. I, I like that big TIE Fighter. Oh, yeah, they put a big TIE Fighter on That's right. You hear the Lion King song? They're playing a lot of music here. That They're just sort of playing Lion King. I think they're trying to tell us that's a clue. Simba will be appearing in Episode 9, right? Do you think that's likely? No. Uh, is Simba <laughs> going to be in Star Wars? No way. No. We got a couple odds questions for you. Both of you can answer these. These are coming from James himself. We're going to play Never Tell Me the Odds. Are you ready? Are you ready, sir? Absolutely. All right, here we go. The first question is, what are the odds we will see Cassian Andor appear in some way, shape, or form in The Mandalorian? Just good at Do you remember Cassian from the one? You just watched it this morning. Is he going to be in the new TV show or no? I like that confidence, Grievous. What do you think, boss? When, wait, when is the Mandalorian set? I thought it's it was set after. It is set afterwards. James likes to play around with continuity like that. <laughs> it would, yeah, it just wouldn't work. Uh, this other odd that he had here was, what are the odds that Mr. Emperor Palpatine's role in Episode Nine is significantly bigger than we think it is. Oh, that's a good idea. Very nice. I like that train of thought. You should call up J.J. Abrams, let him know. What about you, sir? Oh, I don't think he's got to be big. Today, did, well, you were at the panel today, yes. so you you heard ours. Oh, I just stopped by to laugh. No, no way. I think you guys are right on the money. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being fans of Rebel Scum Podcast, and thank you for being fans of Star Wars, because the fans of Star Wars are really the greatest fans in the world. Am I right? Yeah. And, and you know what? Your parents are doing a pretty good job because they got you hooked on the right franchise, my friend. So let, let, let's give a big shout out. Thank you to your mom and dad for bringing you to the celebration and for telling you all about the Star Wars goodness. <laughs> thank you, General, and thank you, Mr. Andy Higgins. Uh, may the force of others be with you. Always. So, as you guys might remember from last celebration in Orlando, there was a moment where we were, you know, just serendipitously standing next to the Star Wars stage, and Harrison Ford and George Lucas happened to walk out very close to where we were standing. Well, the same thing just happened, uh, but not with Harrison Ford, not with George Lucas. No a little man named Ian McDermott, GVP himself. Uh, I tried to get some photos and footage of him, but the crowd around me was just 
like ridiculous. Uh, there was no way I was getting anything usable. Uh, so I just wanted to record how I'm feeling after walking away from that stage. Ian McDermott looked in my direction. I know, I know that sounds stupid. I'm not a celebrity worshiper, I'm an emperor worshiper. Okay, let's get that straight. And long live Emperor Palpatine. May he reign once again. Oh, controversial. So I ran into a few folks here in the Outer Rim. Um, guys, can you please tell me how you feel? Uh, Senator Palpatine was just elected, uh, well, he elected himself emperor. As a Jedi, how does that make you feel? He's going to lose his head. Just his head? If you were on Palpatine's cabinet, okay, and he, uh, you know, he, he gave you uh, a substantial position, and he said, you know, you can make one rule in the galaxy, uh, however you see fit, you know, within reason, uh, what kind of rule would you implement in the galaxy that you think would make it a better place? I get the board. Tell me more. I can't. I'm a culture. I've got to keep my secrets. You guys didn't hear that, right? That's right. You didn't. How does one become a... Fulcrum. Like, if I wanted to, uh, do you have to like audition, or do I have to have like a, a hefty resume? How, how does being a fulcrum work? Do you have to have a resume? You have to keep it secret. You have to know the code, which is and you have to be able to give the information to us. So you have to know the code to get it to us. And are you a fulcrum as well, or can you not tell me at present moment? Now, one last question for both of you. Uh, you seem like secretive folks, so I think that uh, there's a good chance the answer might be yes here. Are either of you Ray's mother? Okay, so all in. That sounds like a yes to me. Hey guys, look at this. The blockade runner is sniffing the AT-AT's butt. This is a thing. You wanted to know what the last uncovered bit of the mural looks like? There you go, baby. Episode 9. Episode 9 is going to look like that. I finally found Ray. She, you're a hard woman to get a hold of, Ray. Uh, how has, I know you can't spoil anything, but how has it been fighting in the resistance, you know, this past year since uh, since the death of Luke Skywalker? How's that felt for you? It's, it's tough, I guess. Fairly tough. I don't know. I've got a lot of friends. Forks. Forks of friends. You do have a lot of friends. That's right. Um, one thing that you don't seem to have though that I would really like to know more about is parents uh, do you think there's a possibility I mean you have dark hair I have dark hair do you think there's a possibility I might be your father are you my dad I, I don't I've, I've been to Jakku like a couple times um, I, I don't remember much of what happened there you know that what happens on Jakku uh, stays on Jakku that's what the sign says out front um, I do, you know, deal in junk trading every now and then. Do you, is that something that you like to do? You enjoy that hobby as well? Definitely. It's all I've ever done. Really? Yeah. Are you also uh, a fan of, like, watching, like, robot wrestling live? You know, like, is that one of your hobbies? Like, coast-to-coast -coast live robot wrestling, droid fighting pits. Is that a thing you like as well? No, man. Droid rights. Okay. So I don't think I am your father. Because I would, be, you know, that, that'd be something I would take my daughter to see. You know, we'd, we'd sit in the stands, we'd have popcorn. I'm so sorry, Ray. I'm so sorry. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll keep waiting. The, the, this uh, this podcast is going to be broadcast all across the galaxy. If your parents are out there, what's something you would like to say to them, right? Come home. Come back. Come pick me up. I'm waiting. Well, I'm back in the hotel once again, and guess what? That's it. I'm not going back to McCormick Place, as far as I know. Yeah, because celebration has come to an end. And what a ride it's been, folks. I want to apologize um, in advance. The audio in this episode might be a bit temperamental. Uh, today the mic was not agreeing with me and the background noises just came out a lot louder than they should have. Normally, you know, all week the mic's been working great, but today, the last day, it just kind of, uh, it, it did not really capture what I wanted it to capture. So I'm hoping that you can hear everything in this video. If not, I apologize. That is on me. But regardless, it has been one heck of a journey, and I'm so grateful to have been able to go on it, to have been able to come to Celebration, to see the beautiful city of Chicago, which I adore, and I, I might move here. I'm not promising, but I might move here, just saying. And to, of course, uh, I'm also grateful to have met and chilled with some very, very cool Star Wars fans from 
all over, not just the U.S., but from all over the world. There were some people from London, England, some people from Auckland, Australia. You know, it's it's crazy. Star Wars is in every corner of the globe, and you can't get rid of it. And thank you, most of all, for joining me on this wonderful experience through Chicago, through McCormick Place, through Star Wars Celebration 2019. Here's to many, many more Star Wars celebrations to come. Here's to many, many more Star Wars movies and TV shows and books to come, because we will eat that up. I'm Andrew Fantasia, signing off one last time from Star Wars Celebration. Thanks so much for following along with me, homies. May the force of others be with you. Hey scumbags, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.